What's up guys, this is the Riverman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick up where we left off, uh, the Portuguese have sallied out of Lisbon and I have just been completely uh, distracted by this name. Isn't, oh, just, it's the uh, the Simpsons when they do the uh, barbershop quartet and he says, Abu, a poo in the house of human paddle on. And he says, no, that doesn't work, can't sell that. How about you be Apu uh, de Beaumarche? <laughs> Sorry, that just really threw me off when I read that. Um, so yes, so the Portuguese are sailing out of Lisbon, so I definitely want to deploy back out of range of the mortars and just tear their infantry to pieces, because they have none. Unfortunately, I have no cavalry to run around the outside around the flanks to um, attack the artillery batteries, so I'm probably going to spend the bulk of my artillery effort doing counter-battery against their weakened forces. So let's crack on. Be just to stop them being at war with me, and it will gain me another advanced region, which I might another university in. Well, I will be able to get a university in, but uh, I don't know. I don't know how angry they'll be that I've taken them. They'll probably be quite ca quite angry, because they're a capital city of a major power. So they probably won't like that. Um, but we are Catholic, so that might fact. I don't know. Soon find out. But anyway. Oh yes, lovely. Lovely hill for a defensive position here. So let's put some Sakers. Uh, sorry, my demi cannons with some 12 pounders. So at least this battery has some canister shot capability. And this guy can go here. No, no um, defenses yet again because I don't want to conceal. I don't want to um, restrict their field of fire. Okay, definitely only need three units in the centre here, which will have trenches. Two deployed out here will have trenches. Then maybe a couple of grenadiers and an infantry unit out here, wide. So these guys will have um, stakes because I predict cavalry will try to come around the flanks. Then on this side with so many troops still uncommitted. Just spread them out, I suppose. Well, no, you know what? For once, sit these guys back with Firewall off as a reserve. Let's stretch out the deployment of these guys. Again with stakes. And let's deploy some units of grenadiers to cover the artillery. Fire will off. Actually, I might use one of these guys to plug a gap here. And then militia is just militia, so just stand here and shoot anyone. General, stand here from his high position. All inside the walls. See if my artillery can focus on. Can see if they'll. They should automatically aim for their artillery, but I'm interested to see if they actually will. I don't think they can. May as well go for the wall, I suppose. Give them something to think about. Get the distinct oh if I oh if I quick climb right now drop it right on here poof that would be delicious yep yeah, good the howitzer teams are abandoning the battery at least if I knock a hole on the wall I can charge my general in at the end of the battle to be honest I may as well make them also fire the walls because there's no real risk to any of my infantry Or I'll end up advancing this left wing of infantry just to run in as well. In fact, that's not a terrible idea. As their mortars have abandoned the walls... 
Ah, oh, no, they have not. Abandon that plan, chaps. Go back to where you were. If the other artillery team had left the walls, I would um, move them up, but these guys would just shoot them to shreds. Let's speed up time a little bit because I don't see much happening. At least speed up until more of our army deploys out of the walls. And the general is doing. No, nope, from now I thought they were doing the classic uh, suicidal gen I, general AI. Suicidal AI general, that is. So this mortar crew is steadfast at their guns. These ones, on the other hand, are moving up. Let's watch these the bravest men in Portugal. So this is their battery commander. Running. Sword at the ready. And let's hit play. They're not having any of it. There you go. <laughs> he has managed to survive. Whether the two thirds of his battery hasn't. Oh, this man took the bullet for him! And he's still going to get away with an inch of his life. The battery commander flees. Comes the rest of their garrison. It may end up being if I defeat their infantry in the field, I might have to go for a more classic siege, because they might not want to suicide the cavalry. Their artillery is already limbering up. So hopefully these guys will abandon their battery and run forward. Blunder by shotgunners. Look pretty cool. It's kind of shot these irregulars because they are out of range. Let's make them feel sufficiently less smug. Keep my artillery on the walls. <laughs> Look quite good. They look like a, uh, the East India Company model, except they've got um, militia jackets on, and well, effectively they've just got the <laughs> they've just got the East India Company helmets. So let's see. There you go, ready to fire again. See, they will be getting some kills off, but they're shooting at my militia, funnily enough. Or at least they're hitting my militia. No, they're, they're aiming at this infantry unit. And they're not going to take that sitting down. You know what they're going to do? Advance up. So who's that? It's the blend of our shotgunners. They've literally just limbered up, moved forward a bit, and then unlimbered. Brilliant. <laughs> there we go, they're now within range of my line infantry to, to pour fire into them. There we go, good decision, Portugal. Yeah, ultimately there should be absolute absolute carnage here. There's lots of them, which is probably going to mean they'll result in a mass rout of some description. But my infantry are very well trained. So take the 34th Regiment of Line, reloading 33, accuracy 48. They've almost got as good accuracy as many veteran units. So this is an army which will be absolutely devastating with their gunnery. And this, these guys do not have fire by rank. There you go, mass route, simply due to pouring fire into them. So are they irregulars? Are they out of range? Just. And as the walls have been destroyed, get my artillery to focus fire on them. Switch to canister and engulf them with canister fire.
turned on fire at will. There you go, pour fire into these irregulars. Blunderbuss shotgun is if they get close will be very devastating. There you go, the grenadiers are uh, starting to open fire onto them as they pass within their sights. To be honest, I'd be quite intrigued to see the damage they do, because I've not yet used a Blunderbuss shotgun unit successfully. It's the first light foot for Portugal. So they're aiming at 261. Ah, uh, they're all hitting this piece of terrain here. So they only lost one casualty in that fight. Suicidal charge of the regiment of foot. Let them hit my infantry. I will accept the casualties because they will get annihilated in the resulting melee. Folks fire their artillery as it enters the field. See, it's just frustrating they have not abandoned their mortars, so I'm going to speed up time again. Because the forces are fleeing, or starting to flee, their artillery is entering the field. To be honest, actually, I don't have quick climb, so they probably don't have quick climb either. So that particular concern may not be a concern. You go past within range or within sights of my shotgunners. Okay, let's go on the assumption they don't have quick climb. Which I don't believe they do. Let's move up my whole line. Massive amounts of overkill. I could probably even kept them in that formation. That'd been rather elegant. But yes, I want to move up. Swarm the central courtyard. I don't know how the mechanic works in capturing a city um, when they're when they're um, attacking you, but what I do know, there you go. The mortars have opened up. So let's see who they open fire on and what damage they do. There you go. Some very very good hits. make it a bit different. Let's make these guys scale walls. Let's make these guys... No, hold on. I've got hold of the wrong group. Yeah. Let's make them form up a line in front of there. Let's get a unit of militia on the wall. Let's plug that gap. I can see the cavalry coming out. So who do I want to optimise? I want to optimise you, sort of. Just run up that wall and you climb up there, I suppose. And then let's hold fire with my artillery. See, the other's freaking out, even though there's nothing really to do. Straight into their regiment of horse. So they don't interfere with my guys trying to climb walls. There we go, and they should all wheel around. Good. You just... I was about wanting them to shoot at them, but I may as well make them charge into them. Let's 
same with them. Same with these guys, I presume. See, I might get lots of casualties here. to get out there so I want you to climb the walls don't go crazy and try and do anything else same with them to be honest actually you try run through the gates while they're open straight into the mortars may as well the AI's done this annoying little trick to me before Slightly, but fairly be. So keep spamming. There we go. So the gates are closed, but they should become mine when I run through here. At least if there's any sense in the world they'd be mine, because I'm pretty sure I hold some crazy amounts of... Uh, ooh, hopefully. See if these guys are enough to uh, to claim Lisbon. Because one thing I don't want to do Lisbon in that fight. To be honest, should have been, it should have been a bit more offensive. I was a bit lacklustre in hindsight by assuming they have quick lime. So they've got 700 men, so they've probably got enough to... Yeah, they've got enough to garrison Lisbon. Let's hit space. It's the Cherokee moving in on the Louisiana. Oh, yes, you. I forgot about you. Take it. See, this is what I was very much concerned about. The, the Württemberg outbreak. Rioting has broken out in this region as the lower orders have become too unhappy. You must either appease the rioters by lowering taxes or send in the troops to put them down. Whatever you do, act so army destroyed. The becomes a rebel. So what have you got here? Just a bunch of infantry. This army could be enough to screw up that Frankfurt position. Monsieur. For crew general. Lackluster artillery. But move up to try to secure Amsterdam. Um, if anything, cancel recruitment of these artillery. You need to pump out line infantry uh, rapidly. Not bulk these regiments. Just, just a regular old line for now. Something cheap and affordable and plentiful. You can tell I've had a uh, gap since um, playing my last... Uh, since recording my last video. So I completely forgot that the, uh, the Wurttembergs have uh, screwed me over in such excellent fashion. Recruit some just a garrison for Berlin because I can't afford to completely lose it. Okay, so let's get some. Is that from are they all coming from Berlin? I don't know where they're coming from actually. Oh, they're coming from Hanover. Okay, but let's use these guys to push in, hit this army at Frankfurt. Because I need to start pushing back the Wurttembergs. Thankfully, they have a. Uh, Imposing looking army, but they um, the quality isn't there. 
And they're not well supported. They've got lots of cavalry, lots of arts, lots of um, infantry, but not much artillery. Not a major concern. I mean, it's frustrating, sure, but okay. I want to deploy out here. Well, no, do I? How much of a good field of five? Pretty good. The same with my howitzers. Good. So in the left wing, let's put the grenadiers with four units of line. You will push the left. Maybe a next unit of militia. Because this is this is good shooting territory. And then what's the terrain like? It'd be a wide. Hmm. Can infantry to traverse these? Let's put them out wide. General on the left. Let's get going. So right now, because they have no artillery, I'm not going to advance my left flank. I'm going to let my artillery do the work. So where are they firing upon? This block here. Well, actually, in retrospect, they might find themselves out of work if I don't put them to business quickly. So let's get them to run, to threaten the right. These guys, I'm pretty confident of their ability. They send up a unit of Dragoons. So let's do this. There's a bit of a counterbalance. Come on. So they're beginning to run. Okay, they're thinking. Well, they're going to open. Look, they are charging. They are charging. Form square in the grenadiers. My line infantry will open fire. And they're charging a darn square full of grenadiers. So. Counter charge with my general as well. Then let's rotate these guys back to provide fire to the. The advancing troops. Relinquish my grenadiers from square. Let's shepherd them. Nope, to make these two units run straight down here. Let's make these guys run. Warp. No, make them run. Let's get my artillery to focus on line infantry units. So I wish I had more cavalry. So get a bit of envelopment on the go. And before they get too cosy. Move up hard and fast with my infantry. Send my general out on a bit of a scouting mission on the left. These guys are sort of alone, but they're only against militia. And I can redirect my artillery to support them if needed. 
and gives my sepoys open fire onto this militia unit. See, if I had more cavalry, I'd be a lot more aggressive, because then I could properly run them down. Oh. Let's maybe reorientate these guys to, f to try and attack the West Western European mercenaries. Run out my militia, because they're not in firing range of anyone. got superior firepower but let's just get into the melee they're all bundled together run my general in get my general to do work halt artillery see my guys are tired but they're winded so I should chase them down and get some nice kills Get these infantry to chase into the mercenaries, get my militia to charge into the backs of this bunch up here. No, chase down the... Uh, actually, hit this garrison regiment. They're more important to kill the militia. Militia are chewable. Turn guard mode on so they will chase. Turn guard mode off, sorry, so they will chase. doesn't mean I'll probably lose more men but the 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 potential here is to wipe out a Württemberg stack Let's just get my put my general to work Okay, so I took that unit under 46 men. Let's get him back to the centre of the action where he can do the most damage. There you go. Importantly, make them re re engage. So 17 men, 31. Should be also may as try chase down that unit. Um, I'm definitely going to continue it because I want my general to do as much work as possible. Okay, they've scattered. Don't waste your time. Hit this unit of mercenaries because quite a lot of them all together in a cluster. Yeah, I've not lots of my men on the ground. So people have told me this before. And look, I did by charging. Huh. They have said by attacking through your own men, you'll cause your own casualties, which I just did because you can see them all there. There you go. Let's run my general away. To be honest, let's pull my infantry out, send my general in. Because I don't think my general's going to do much, much too game breaking elsewhere. So, except you may as well just try kill a entire. Infantry unit. Sure is there. Where's the last guy? Just hit 
hit the artillery, hit the house, I suppose. If I destroy the house, then he will presumably die. Yeah, the house is nicely smoking. And I'm pretty sure the houses here aren't indestructible. <laughs> you know, the ones you can't get into. Pretty sure I've managed to destroy them myself before. Got him. But yeah, I've probably taken more casualties. And if I need to fall back to replenish, then I'm happy to. Just wanted to see what the ratio is like. 674, 1,500. So yeah, this stack's been... I've annihilated it. Replenish with whatever money you can, and fall back. Some is moving up to hit that northern stack. So to be honest, I think in that turn we've already managed to handle it. What about elsewhere? Can they auto-resolve the Lisbon fight? Yeah, that's definitely an auto-resolve fight. Look at that. Seem only minus three, and they've got 12 or 13... Um, uh, resistance to foreign occupation. So I'm going to resent them from tax to make them chill out. They are going to grow Pharaoh, which is down here. So I'll turn that into a happiness building. And then I am going to capitalise on having a school. Don't normally have four research buildings on the go. Always seems to feel a bit redundant. So you, you are not going to work on cadence marching. That is a waste of your time. You're going to do machine tools and you will do cadence marching. So it will get me the Agilvy Regiment. An improved campaign movement speed, lots of fluffy things, but I need something low to to research, as this is only a college, and they have no um, religious people. So let's pick these guys and hit replenish. Only the militia can replenish. Radio. So then let's. What's my navy doing? I've stopped recruiting because of the the Württemberg crisis. Ah uh, yes, yeah, so I just need to recruit a ship to get that army back over, which will immediately be redeployed against the Württembergenese. And I really hope the Austrians don't move in, actually, and clear up the Württembergs for me. I'd very much like to take them out myself. But it's an unexpected surprise. To be honest, I think I only played my last part a few days ago, but I've played a, a few different games and campaigns since, so it's not it's not surprising that things get a bit jumbled up. Yep, so the Ottomans are all a bit at sixes and sevens, trying to figure out what to deal with me. Yep, blockade away, buddy. Right now, my income is has taken a big hit. And I've, oh, I've been saying for so many turns that I don't like all these Wurdenberg stacks. I don't like all these Wurdenberg stacks. It all happened. Um, they betrayed me because Poland declared war on me. Poland, that country over there with only one stack. To be honest, I should have, I shouldn't have called, um, called my allies in because then I wouldn't have given them a chance. Um, but I was hoping that Austria would get involved and then they would kill them and then end, that ends the war. Did not foresee Württemberg stabbing me in the back, although I should have done because that seems. Quite a natural response, I think. Good Louisiana, you better be doing something against the Cherokee, because they are mighty upset. It's no good blockading them. See, so they are sending forces out, which is good. So let's see what the... Cherokee. Okay, one's moving forward, one's falling back. Good, good. Louisiana's fought them off. To be honest, I keep, what I keep forgetting to do is to give them technology. Oh, look at that. Ooh, I think we can definitely... See, even though, yeah, they outnumber me, but not by much, and they've got NAF units. So I'm definitely going to fight this, but looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So... Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. We will push back the word to Big E's, and this army will then push forward. And this army is going to capture Hanover. Can I move the map? Nope, it's not my turn. This army is going to move over and capture Hanover. That big stack's going to move down and take Württemberg and crush this rebellion, really, once and for all. 
See you next time.